Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you recursive lambda with structured reference in Excel. Back in December, the Excel team released the lambda function to the beta channel of Excel for Microsoft 365 and Office 365. The lambda function allows you to create your own custom and reusable function. In addition, it allows recursive that is to call a function within itself. So I have three videos on the Lambda function and I'm going to put the links of the videos in the description so they can actually watch them and have a good hang of how it works. Before I move further, I'm going to encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new videos. So without wasting our time, let's proceed. Now in one of my previous videos, I demonstrated how we can sum digits across columns and we're going to do something similar although not across column now let's see our example now we have this sizable you know data and we have this unit now we can see that the units are just two digits okay we have 78 81 and so on now this data is already formatted as an excel table because we want to do structured reference now let's see how we can actually write one of the functions using the dynamic array sequence function equal sign use the len function now when i click on the value in cell d2 we have this table structured nomenclature which is structured reference so when i close and i press f9 we have two digits that is the length of text or the value inside the cell d2 Control z now when i come back I'm going to throw in the sequence function now the sequence function will give me the rows so when i close this and i press f9 now it's returned one semicolon two meaning we have one and two so Control z now after the equal sign i'm going to deploy yet another text function which is the mid function now the mid function requires the text so the text remains the value in cell d2 comma and our start number will be this now the next argument is the number of characters now for the number of characters, i'm just going to put in one when i close and we press f9 now we have seven and eight so we're actually getting close now because these are values so i'm going to use a function called the value function which will convert this text value to actual value so let's start putting the value and when I close my bracket and I press F9, we can actually see we have seven and eight. So the ones have been removed. So Ctrl Z, finally, we just wrap everything inside the sum function or even the sum products. So when I close the bracket and I do F9, now we have 15, which is seven plus eight. This is actually cool. Ctrl Z, Control Enter, boom. So that returned all the value for all the cells because we are working inside tables. So you can actually see 7 plus 8 will return 15. 8 plus 1 will return 9. 2 plus 7 give us 9. So this is how we write it traditionally. Now, to use this in my Lambda function, I'm just going to copy all this. Control C, Escape. Now come here, just type in Lambda. So for my parameter, I'm just going to use my value. Okay comma so i'm going to paste this value here okay so what i need to do is to replace the structured reference with my parameter so i'm just going to come here and i'm going to grab this and just type in my value so just come to the one in the length function and i type in my value and that's all i need to do so close the lambda function now when i hit Control enter i'm going to get a calc error okay so let's go ahead Control enter that's fine f2 to open up the formula ctrl a to select ctrl c to copy escape f3 to open the name manager now in the name manager we need to now you know create our custom function name so we're going to call this um sum my value okay and then we just paste the formula in here so and escape so that's done i'm going to just delete this so let's see how to use the function sum my value open parentheses so when i grab this close control enter boom it's returned exactly what we achieve here this is absolutely cool now let's go ahead and see the other example 
where we're going to do recursion. So come to the example two. Now in example two, we want to do something similar. However, we're going to use a different function. So let's start. I'm going to come here. Now equal sign, I'm going to take this value in cell D2 with the structured reference, put in minus. Now there's a function called the int function, which rounds a number down to the nearest integer. We need that open parenthesis. So I'm going to grab the value in cell D2 and divide by 10, close parenthesis and multiply by 10. Okay, so when I do um, F9, boom, it's going to give us 8. Now this 8 is actually all the numbers to the right. So when I control Z and control enter, boom, it gave us 8, 1, 7, the number to the right. Now we need to actually get the number to the left, the 7, 8, 2 and so on and add them together. So F2 to open up the formula. Then we're going to put in the addition and we're going to write another int, okay? And we'll do the value in cell D2, divide by 10, close parenthesis. Now when I just try to evaluate this section, okay, by pressing F9, boom, it's going to give us 7, which is actually far control Z and let's control enter. So it return the value that we need. So we need to now actually use this to create our recursion inside of a lambda function so i'm just going to copy all this okay ctrl c press escape so come here again I'm going to type in lambda now let's just use um my char okay open parenthesis so i'm going to say if my char is greater than zero so what do i want now before i move further i'm just going to put it in edit mode okay escape Let's put this in edit mode. Okay, now I'm going to just paste what we copied the earlier on so we can actually see and follow this guide. Okay, let's come back here. F2 and let's remove the space. Okay, so now I'm going to say if my char is greater than zero, what do I want? I want my char minus int, then open parenthesis. So I'm going to put in my char again and divide by 10 close parenthesis multiply by 10 plus now as you have said this one will govern the leftmost the rightmost character or numbers and for the leftmost we're going to put in another int so we're going to see now before we put in another int we need to now put in the name of our function which will give us the recursion so for this i'm going to just put in my function okay and open parenthesis and then we'll type in the int. Now for the int, we also need to take my char, okay? Divide by 10, close my int and close my custom function, which is my function. Close the if and I close the lambda function. Now when I do control enter again, it's gonna give us the calc error, no problem. Now I'm just gonna copy all this. Control C, escape, F3 to open the name manager then we click on new and for this now we have defined the name of the function inside of lambda so i'm just going to type that my function and then i'll just paste the formula here and that's all we need to do click ok escape so when i get rid of this just type in my function open parenthesis and i grab the value in cell d2 which is the structured reference close my bracket quotation so i'm going to get rid of this and carefully come here and get rid of this so when i click on ok and escape boom the problem fixed itself so we have our recursive lambda with structured reference working pretty fine so we can actually see that we can use the recursive lambda even with structured reference and we can get our results so i hope you enjoy this video if you do please again remember to click the subscribe button and share with your friend like and comment because there's a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers